Hey, this is Calc Sturp here. Hey, I am so sorry. I meant to have this up earlier today. Uh, I got involved in all kinds of fun meetings um, district-wide that all had to do with money. So you would, uh, <laughs> I th think you all would have appreciated that because I, uh, I got to go to, uh, to bat for quite a few things financially for teachers, which is pretty cool. Um, but, but anyhow, uh, I, first thing I need you, if you would, to get your graphing calculator out. Okay. And, uh, we're going to be utilizing this quite a bit. If you don't have a graphing calculator at home, you can go and just do a Google for tech or TI 84, um, free online calculator. And on the website, you can get a 90 day, uh, free uh, use of the calculator. Um, so, and it, it takes a couple minutes to load to the computer, but it, it'll basically look like this. So we want to do that. So there's an awful lot with this and it looks way too intimidating, but I just need to let you know that the calculator is going to be your friend because that means we don't do this equation by hand. Okay. So I just want to go and I just want to start defining a few terms here. Um, so n is uh, the number of compounded payments, so number of payments, and it doesn't show right up in there. It will show up uh, when we get into the solver, it shows up right there, okay? So that's the number of total payments. So if you were doing like a 10-year loan and you were paying every month, there's 12 months in the year. 10 years, that'd be 120, okay? And then the I percent, this is your interest, and you don't need to convert it to a decimal. So if it was 7%, you would put seven in, you don't put 0 0.07. And then your PV um, is your present value. So that would be like, hey, uh, I have a loan, that I owe $4,000 on. That would be a present value, okay? And then your PMT, um, this would be negative a lot of times. And negative, when you see it's negative, that means that it's money coming towards you. Okay? Yeah, I sneeze. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, FV is your future value. And then, uh, let's see, ending versus beginning. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more, um, but we can focus on that. And then P over Y is uh, payments per year. And then C over Y is uh, compounds per year. So if it was compounded daily, that would be 365 because there's 365 days in a year. If it was compounded monthly, it'd be 12, things like that. Okay. So with that known, we are able to play on a calculator. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over to the calculator screen and show you where we're going to find this. This actually has a pretty nice location, but there's going to be an awful lot we're going to look on the calculator. Okay. So you find the apps button and uh, it's three buttons above the seven. Notice it's red on mine right now. And then we want to do finance, which is number one. And we're going to do the TVM solver. And then it comes up with this amazing screen, which is everything that we have done so far. So let me get go away from this. And we're going to go down the screen a little bit and see if we can answer this. It says, you can invest... You can invest $100 each pay period for the next 10 years, okay? If you're paid every other week, so every other week means that uh, if you're paid every other week, that means you would get 26 checks because every two weeks, there's 52 weeks in a year, 52 divided by two is 26. So you're investing 100, 26 times a week, uh, interest at 6%, compounding every pay period, so if it's compounded every pay period, it's compounded 26 times per year. How much will you have at the end of a 10-year period? Okay. So I think there's some information we can plug in here. 
So let's figure out what our n value is first. And we'll go back and forth between the screens. So remember n is my number of payments. So if we are doing 26 payments for 10 years, that means my n has to be 260. So we're going to go back to our calculator and we're going to plug 260 in for that n. Okay. So now we're going to go back and other things that we can fill in on our calculator. Let's see. Um, we have the 100, we have the 6%, and then okay. So my interest we said was 6%. So we're just going to plug 6 in there. PV, I just remember what PV is. P over V is the present value, okay? So we haven't started investing yet, okay? So my present value, if I haven't put anything in, would be zero. My payment, my payment, we are going to have it as a negative value, okay? So we are going to be paying out of our pocket money going away from us is $100, so I'm going to make it negative 100. So I'm going to use the negative down here, 100. The future value is actually what we're going to look for. So I'm just going to hit clear there, so it's blank. Okay. And then the P over Y, so let's figure out P over Y. P over Y, we said is there payments per year, right? Payments per year. So how many payments are we going to make in a year? We're going to make 26 payments in a year. Go down. Okay, let's put the zero in for now. Payments per year is 26. And then we said it compounds 26 per year. And notice it already preloaded it. Okay. And we want the ending amount. So I'm going to go back up here. <clears throat> I'm going to clear that out. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know. I think allergies are trying to get to me. Okay, so now we have everything filled out. We're going to try and figure out this future value using our thing. Oh, we do, do we have P, PV? Oh, that PV was what? We said present value was zero. Yeah, that works. Okay. All right, so with that, I'm going to go to my alpha button and then to my enter key. And you notice on the enter key it says entry, solve, and enter. Well, because we're doing alpha, we're going to solve. And so if I hit that alpha enter, if we were to invest $100 over 10 years, <clears throat> we would uh, come out with $35,570 and rounded up 59 cents. Now, I know some of you are saying, <clears throat> how can that possibly be worth it? Well, think about this. How many times are you paying $100? You're paying 260 times, agreed? So what's 260 times 100? Comes up to 26,000. So you put 26,000 in, and you've earned over $9,000, $9,557.59 9, you've earned in interest. So that's how that problem would work. Okay, and then, friends, I'm happy to do a Zoom with you because this is brand spanking new stuff and I'm happy to walk you through it, okay? <clears throat> All right, so solving for a future value. Solving for a payment. So let's see if we can go through this one. Go through it nice and slow. So after some thought, you've decided that you will need to have $200,000 available for your future child. So your future investment or your future amount you want is $200,000. Okay. You need to have the money in 20 years. So $200,000, you want to make that in 20 years. If you make weekly payments, so weekly, there's 52 weeks in a year, into an annuity that is 
compounded weekly, so that's also going to be 52. And we have talking about 20 years. We have enough information here to plug it into our calculator. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to go back to our calculator, and we're going to take a look at it. So let's just clear out. We'll just go down. So N. N was the number of compounded payments. Okay. So we were doing 52 payments for 20 years. So for what's 52 times 20? Let me just pull up my, make sure I do this right, because if I don't, we'll get the wrong answer, and you guys won't like me. Well, you probably don't like me already. So we're going to do 52 payments times 20. That would give me 1,040 payments. Oops. We have an interest rate, they said, of 8.5%. So I'm just going to plug 8.5 in. Okay, we don't have to change that. The present value, we want it to be $200,000. Or actually, our present value is going to be zero at this point. Our payment is what we're going to have to look for. I'm going to leave that for right now. Our future value, how much did we want to save? We wanted $200,000 to be saved. I think that's what it was. Or was it $20,000? Yeah, $200,000 we wanted to save. Holy moly. Okay. Our P over Y is our payments per year. So we're doing it weekly. So that's 52. And then notice the C over Y also comes to 52, which is totally fine. Okay, so we want to know how much we need to put in there. So I'm going to clear that out. It's blank now. So we have 1,040 payments total at 8.5% interest. Right now we don't have any money in the, in the account, but we want it to get to $200,000. Okay, so I'm going to go to Alpha, Solve, and that means I have to pay... $73.20 a week in order to get to that $200,000. Now, I know some of you are like, well, that's kind of crazy. So think about this. 1,040 payments total times the 73.19 or 73.20, excuse me, means that you would have only invested $76,128 of your own money to get to $200,000. So it really works well for this type of situation. So think about it. Is $73.20 a lot of money to put out every week? I don't know. I, I don't know what your financial plan is. But that's pretty cool that that kind of money takes place. Okay. So I guess we would answer that. And then there's one that says, hey, how long? Okay, if you want to have an annuity worth $1 million, holy cow, you want a $1 million. How long would it take? So time, we don't know. If you were to invest $10 each day, so there's 365 days, so that means you're putting $3,650 a year in. Okay, but so we're doing this each day. And it does the 10% compounded daily. So the compound daily is also 365. Okay, I think we have enough to plug into our problem. Okay, so we can go by our calculator. So how long, well, how long would it take so we're going to leave that blank for right now. I have an interest rate of 10%. Oops. 
Our present value is nothing. We have a payment. Our payment. <clears throat> it's going to be a negative payment because it's money coming out of our pocket. And we're going to do $10 each day. So $36.50 is our payment. Oops. So we can do it one of two ways. I can realize it's negative $36.50 per year. So I'm paying that much per year. And I want this to become a million dollars. And I forget what was P over Y. Uh, it's compounded daily, so 365. And then realize once you hit enter, C over Y becomes the same thing. Okay, so we want to know how long. So my N, I'm clearing out. <clears throat> so how long is this going to take? So I'm going to go to alpha, solve. And it's going to take uh, 264 payments. It's going to take 264 years for that to take place. So you're talking a long period of time before that takes place. Okay. Yikes. Actually, that would be 264. 264 divided by 12. So it would take you 22 years to get to your million dollars if you had done it that way. Uh, because The reason we did that is because there's 12 months in the year. So... That's basically telling us 264 months it would take us to do that. Um, so 264 months, you know, it's kind of hard to sometimes fathom how many months are really are happening. <clears throat> so 264 divided by 12, so it comes out to exactly 22. Um, well, it's, it's a little bit more than 22, but I just did 264 divided by 12. I didn't go 264.212 or 2136683. Okay, so I believe, my friends... If you go to the next things, that's all this is doing. So if you want to go through on a Zoom on these, I'm happy to work with you on each of these pages. So take a look at these pages. I'll load these, the Schoology, as well as my lesson. So that is a huge, fun thing to play around with on the calculator because the calculator will do it for you. Friends, have a great day. Take care of one another.